Hello there. General Kenobi. I'm Slim Jones, and this is the first episode of my nostalgia video series where I review games that I remember playing in my youth. Today, we're going to be talking about Star Wars Galaxies, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game that Sony Online Entertainment released in 2003. I received Star Wars Galaxies as a gift sometime after 2003, but I was unable to play it due to my internet connection. We still had dial-up, and my parents needed to be able to receive phone calls on the landline. Whenever the internet was connected, the phones didn't work, so it was impossible for me to have a stable connection to play the game. However, a year or so later, I finally got to experience the game and spent entire summers playing it non-stop. I would wake up, play SWG, go to bed. Wake up, play SWG, go to bed. Repeat, repeat. Same with World of Warcraft, but I'm sure we'll get to that in another video. One of my favorite features of the game was the ability to plot my own house or even build my own town on the vast planet maps. It was extremely immersive into the Star Wars universe, being able to visit Jabba's palace, work for Darth Vader and the Emperor, and even fly my own Star with the Jump to Light Speed expansion. I also remember the Trials of Obi-Wan expansion. I went to Mustafar with some guy with my Sith character, and I went prone near the lava going, I hate you! Doing the Anakin thing. The guy I was with basically facepalm. He's like, dude, don't do that. Everyone always does that. And I was like, ugh. I felt kind of stupid. <laughs> On that note, the multiplayer aspect of playing with like-minded people was great, and uh, the PvP between Rebels and Empire was awesome. Uh, I don't really focus on PvP myself, but it's it, it was great. And it still is in Legends, depending on if you're active duty or not. Star Wars Galaxies was unique compared to other MMOs at the time because of its sandbox element. No designated zones like WoW or Swoder. It was the only game I knew of that allowed players to plot their own house in a consistent multiplayer world. And this was well before Arc Age 2, and I only bring that up because it allowed you to put down your own buildings and crops. My experience with uh, that game is going to need its own video. It was absolute chaos, but it was some of the most fun I've ever had in an MMO. In addition to plotting your own property, the variety of different classes and professions allowed players to customize their characters to fit their playstyle. The biggest challenge the game had was in 2005 with the combat upgrade system. Prior to the CU patch, the game had a complex skill system and a more realistic approach to combat. In the pre-CU system, players had to grind skills and abilities through use, and becoming a Jedi was a rare and difficult achievement. The CU patch simplified the game's mechanics and made it more accessible to new players, but also caused significant controversy among the game's dedicated player base. Many players felt the changes made the game too easy and dumbed down the mechanics. The changes to the Jedi system were particularly controversial, as it became much easier to unlock Jedi abilities. And I remember that particularly. Unfortunately, Sony let the game die, and no other company has had the balls to make any similar game to date. I mean, Swoder is nice and everything, but I'm telling you, it is nothing in comparison to Star Wars Galaxies. Oh, Swoder, whatever, dude. It's so restrictive. I cannot explain to you how just vast and open the maps are. Go anywhere. Ride in your speeder. Oh, freaking Swoder. Oh, the freaking bordered maps like you're playing the Old Republic, like single player, the original Old Republic. It's just, uh, I can't even. Can't beat it. Anyway, Sony let the game die, but the Star Wars Legends can community is keeping it alive and continues to expand upon what Sony left behind. The Star Wars Legends staff is a community of dedicated fans to the game and genre, running the Omega server for its many players. They expand upon the original game and have already made Cloud City with lavish apartment buildings available to players. I have a token for one, but I don't think I can afford it yet. They're like a million credits or something. However, they do probably struggle with funding as most independent projects do. If you go to StarWarsLegends.com and you hit play now, it's going to tell you everything you need to get the game going. First, you're going to need a copy of Star Wars Galaxies, Amazon, eBay. I guess they might have had it for sale on Steam originally. I've never heard of anyone having it from Steam. And then part two, you're going to download the zip here with the launcher in it. And then after you follow all these very simple steps, you're going to get to here. Boom, you're going to have it open. It looks like the highest population was 1961. That's pretty good for an independent resurrected game. All right, let's play this baby. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to show you. I really enjoy the Legends community. I really enjoy this guild I've joined with. I will show you what's going on here. Yeah, it's a it's a early 2000s game, so the resolution has my recording screen all funky. But anyway, let me just shout out to the guild I'm in. Storm Commando 1, baby. Doing it big. Doing it big. I'm going to give you all the tour. I got to go outside first. I am decked out with Stormtrooper armor. 
thanks to the guild leader. I am a max level bounty hunter. And you might be like, did you work your way up to that? No, I didn't. I had this thing that they gave me in the mail to get to max level. And you only have one of those, I think, per account. And I decided to bring this guy all the way up. As you can see, you level up all the way individually. And each level looks like every certain interval you get upgrades. Upgrades to your skills, upgrades to your points, more abilities. I'm pretty sure this is pre-CU, pre but I'm not 100%. I was doing good with the Imperial Pilot stuff, but then it kind of got confusing and I wasn't sure where I needed to go. And there's something about all the parts for the ships. It's pretty intricate. It's... If you're into it, spend some time on it. This Chronicler thing, I think Star Wars Legends allows you to make your own quests and missions. And I think that's what this Chronicler thing might be a part of. To tell the most basic of stories without losing their audience. Oh yeah, that's exactly what that is. Very cool. Chronicler has now reached the pinnacle of their career. Can now illustrate their stories in a more spectacular manner. Wow. So yeah, you've got your basic class, which I was, I'm was i a bounty hunter. And then you've got politician ranks, which allows you to play special decorations and town buildings people run for mayor all the time and it's it's pretty cool what button am i looking for so many buttons and then you is your expertise tree bounty specialization bounty hunting and then beast mastery i i think everyone gets beast mastery i'm not sure if it's always been that way but at least in star wars legends everyone has the ability to put points into beast mastery create mount allows you to make an incubated egg into a mount yep back in the day getting the mounts was a big deal and it was so cool to be riding through town on the lizards and everything okay here he is right here coach t oh that's his entertainer a lot of people use bots and scripts and and that is the one thing that annoys me about this game. Not him. Not him in particular. But I remember when I was in, yeah, I was in Kashyyyk trying to unlock the Wookiee stuff or whatever. And there was just a bunch of characters there scripted killing all of the enemies I needed for an actual quest. I'm actually playing the game and people are just, I hate that scripted bot stuff. Getting the resources you need taken by people that are just scripting. AFK, it's so annoying. That in the distance, you see that right there is a that is a custom building that Star Wars Legends made. This guy, Coach Terry of of Sturm, S T U R M. He's the guild leader, and this guy's awesome. So I'm just looking. I asked, hey, can I join the guild? And he's like, yeah, sure. I come over here to the guild hall, and he gives me a full set of stormtrooper armor, dude. This guy is freaking awesome. Very nice. The guild is awesome. I honestly don't play that this much. I honestly just log on so they don't destroy my house. And speaking of, I got a Sarlacc trash can, and it's hungry, but I don't have anything to feed it. Then we go through here, and then you get a little mysterious rug i've got a gungan and carbonite greeted by zoog darth maul statue greeted by bomar and then we've got a little decoration i'm pretty proud of this right here i set this all up jabba salacious crumb and boba fett and then we have here a baby colo clawfish in the fish tank. Pretty fancy, huh? Then I am I'm an Imperial if you haven't noticed. My very fancy living room. Portrait of the Emperor. Emperor statue. Darth Vader statue. Table of figurines. Yoda fountain. Drink dispenser. Um, upstairs is where my character hangs out when I'm logged out. Uh, down here, we've got another dumpster. And then this is some kind of target dummy thing. Place target dummy. Oh, snap. Huh. Oh, I need a gun. I need a gun. Put my gun on. Quickly. Shoot. Shoot, shoot. I forget how to play. Heal yourself. Flamethrower. Bow, bow, bow. Store target dummy. Well, that's fun. Okay. Continue the tour. I guess I just showed you what combat was. Uh, storage and crap. Nothing important in there. And then... Yeah, this is where I hang out. I sit in my little emperor throne. And... Do nothing. Got all these holograms and stuff. So, normally, it would take you a lot of playing this game to get all this stuff. But I just logged in. Once per account, it gives you a lot of these unique items. And I absolutely love it. Here's a balcony overlooking the area here. 
Very nice. That's the over map when you hit M, but we can go to the planet map. Now, this is what I was talking about with huge, massive, open. So, where do you think I am right now? All the way down here in White Sands. That is where the Sturm Guild base and town center is, and that's where my home is. So, just boom. Tattoo. So, most Isley is all the way to the east. Jabba's Palace is to the west of me. Most Espa, I mean, it's massive, man. Let's do some riding around real quick. So, you get your mounts out like boom. Yeah. This is not original to the game. I'm pretty sure this is custom Star Wars Legend stuff. There's a lot of custom Star Wars. Oh, look, it's someone. What's up, fellow Sturmer? Ah, here's the guild hall. We'll go in here real quick. I think that might be one of his bot characters. Holy crap. Yeah, you gotta let the things load. So, the decoration is intense in this game, I'm telling you. Ooh, the Sturm Guild Hall. What do you know? I think they did a little decorating. Looks great. Oh, yep, this is their this is their buff bot. So I sit down here, and if you notice, above where I am, it starts giving me all those buffs. That is the good thing about the bots. I'm not going to knock that at all. So you sit down, you get your buffs, then you go out and do your missions, do your dailies, grind your stuff, but I'm, I'm not really up to date on all that. So I got this thing. So yeah, normally you have to go buy a ticket on that shuttle, but I got this thing from one of those mail rewards, I think, and it's an instant travical freaking Nabu ship so all you do anywhere on a planet you hit that and you grab it then you travel so there's a lot of cool stuff like that they've added to make the game quicker and easier say you're stranded out in the middle of a planet and you can't you'd, you'd have to walk all the way back to a shuttle port to be able to leave the city but look at all these people hang out these are real players Woo! I think there's a little over a thousand on so let's go to the cantina real quick Players, 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 hey, 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 lots of man, hey, that's all right. We got plenty of people running around. Now, this is for all the action. The most icely cantina. Four-year veteran. In the rat guild, I guess. Oh. People are coming in already. Oh, it's popping, baby. It's popping. It's Mary Poppins in this bee. Check it out, everyone. Oh, he's got a lightsaber. Sick. An Inquisitor. These entertainers are causing all these effects and... Oh, snap. I want to listen to this guy. So I do my tilde key and then I listen. Awesome. And you see how it's saying uh, duration. The entertainers here, they give buffs too. So there is an action. And just like I have the bounty hunter trained all the way up, you have the, can have the entertainer class trained all the way up, and they have an actual function. You actually buff players. Warrior classes, they come here, they get buffs, they tip the entertainers, and then they go back out on their way. The MMO economy was very cool in this game. The crafters and artisans, they needed materials, trading for, there's harvesters, and that goes into the plotting of the buildings and stuff. You could have harvesters out there getting your resources, selling them. All right, I could get lost in this, but the game is alive. Star Wars Legends, baby, Star Wars Legends. Nothing can really beat the memories of playing this game in the mid to late 2000s. However, it is an excellent experience, especially if you have people to share it with. Playing on the Omega server allows players to experience the game as it was before the shutdown, but with the added benefits of updates and expansions. I wouldn't recommend this to your average gamer who is concerned with the look and graphics, as it is definitely more for the nostalgia of those who remember the game. However, I do believe it can be enjoyed by Star Wars fans, especially if someone shows them the ropes. Star Wars Galaxies was a great MMO that allowed players to experience the Star Wars universe in a unique 
unique and immersive way. While the game may no longer be available through official channels, the Star Wars Legends community has kept it alive and continues to expand upon it. If you're a Star Wars fan or a fan of MMOs, I highly recommend giving it a try. Thanks for watching. Do you remember playing Star Wars Galaxies in the 2000s? Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content like this, and I hope to see you in the future. Slim Jones, out.